What is up, you guys? It's iPod Guy KDM here, and today I'm going to teach you guys how to get Siri for iPod Touch 4th Gen, iPhone 4, or iPhone 3GS. So, Siri, we all know about it. We see the commercials. We want it for our older devices, but we can't have it unless you jailbreak and you're going to get it from this. So, what you're going to want to do is open up Cydia. And while City is loading, you guys, can I ask you to um, like the video and get ready to subscribe because once this works, you're going to want to. Alright, when your City loads up, you're going to want to go to Manage, Sources. At the top right, you should see Edit. Click on that. Next, you should click on Add at the top left. Once, once my iPod is done reloading data. And yet again, if you didn't like, then like the video. Alright, now you click on add at the top left. and you're going to want to add the source that's in the description and then you click add source right here and by the way this source is repo dot c report dot ru and then you want to click add source once you're done there click done and then you can go into the source and scroll down until you get to s's and you should see c report right here the description says siri for all i devices you're going to want to click on this at the top right you should see install right here and then click on click that and it should and then it should say install and then you click confirm at the top right again and it do not do not exit out of your iPod or iPod or iPhone when this is downloading cuz it could it could and probably will cause a crash and then your your device will be stuck it will it'll be bricked so do not exit out trust me i've done it already cuz i got scared because it just took so long it it says it right there it'll take 10 to 30 minutes so just leave it there all right next once you have that you're going to have to reboot And once your device is rebooted, you're going to want to go to Safari. And in Safari, you're going to want to go to this website. Hold on. Alright. It should be http colon slash slash c report dot ru slash one dot crt Then click go. When it loads up, it'll bring you to another screen. 
and then there sh it should say like look right here it should say Gazzoni or something like that Gazzoni Gazzoni and then it'll ask you if you want to install click install even if it says not trusted because it says not trusted because you haven't installed it yet mine says trusted because I have you click on install and then it'll install the profile and then you click install now I've already installed it so and then what you're going to want to do is go into settings after that is installed and you're going to want to go to general right here you're going to want to click on Siri and then you're going to want to make sure Siri is enabled and it should say it should have your details down here and now what you're going to want to do is because Siri is fully downloaded it's ready to use you have to hold your home button which is the button that you it has the the square on it the sir, yeah yeah you know hold that down and Siri should pop up just like this what you're going to want to say is hi Siri my bad Hold on. Alright, we are back. Alright. So yes, you're gonna wanna hold the home button and then it'll and then it'll make a beep and then you say hi Siri. It most likely will not work, but you gotta keep trying this. Just keep trying like every day. It took me two days for it to work. So yeah, just keep trying it. I was half asleep when it worked. I, I was like I was nodding off and then I just held the button and said hi Siri and then it said hello back so just keep trying I wanted to delete it after a while but I figured why why delete it when people say it works which it does so yeah so this concludes my video you guys stay um, be prepared for some more videos coming soon and as always have a nice day